All right, 616. Now let's get to meteorologist Jeremy Lagoo to talk about the forecast. Jeremy, you kind of told us that we'd get a little bit of break, a break from the rain, but it sounds like it'll return. Yeah, <laughs> kind it's, of uh, throughout the week. Yeah, it's October. It's uh, basically rain break, rain break, warm, cold. It, it's fall. It's what we expect to see this time of year. And today comes with wind and rain. That wind eventually tapers off tomorrow. But don't worry, by the time we get into the weekend, by then, oh man, we go through everything. I was actually thinking about this last night. I was like, this weekend's going to feel like a deserved weekend. And hear me out on this one. And this is just in terms of weather. Every weekend's deserved. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. 43 degrees with a little bit of cloud cover early on this morning. Wind out of the south southwest at 16 miles per hour. We are pretty mild early on today thanks to a little bit of cloud cover. And unlike yesterday, we aren't going to see that cloud cover depart. In fact, we're going to hang on to it a bit longer. There are a couple breaks in the clouds, but notice what's going on down to our south. A little bit of moisture moving in. We are going to see those scattered showers throughout the day today. And as our jet stream, which sits down to the south and out to the west, starts moving toward us, we'll wind up seeing wind pick up across the inland northwest. So, yes, there is a lot going on, and that's just today. We'll see wind gusts around 15 to 25 miles per hour during the day, picking up to 25 to 35 later on this evening, and that's mainly down in places like the Palouse, some of those mountaintops. We'll watch that wind die down throughout the day on Wednesday, but just know overnight and into early tomorrow morning, we'll hang on to that wind. Scattered showers throughout the day, a push of moisture later on this afternoon with the arrival of some of that wind. So that is going to be some more widespread rain. I think a few hundredths of an inch, possibly up to a tenth of an inch, depending on where you are, is about it. And then we'll catch a break tomorrow. So that's just basically today. As we move through the next few days, we do have a lot more to talk about. So this afternoon, we're up near 50, but then as we move into the next couple of days, what winds up happening is we once again set up an atmospheric river. This one kind of looks to take aim at the west side, bringing some heavy rain to them. For us, we're in the rain shadow of the Cascades, so what we wind up seeing is significantly less moisture than what they get on the other side of the state. I think well, between a quarter and a third of an inch is possible for us here in Spokane. Some of the mountains of North Idaho might pick up an inch, which is very possible. On the west side, it is significantly more when it comes to that rainfall, and that's because they're taking a direct shot from it. Westerly flow means we wind up in the rain shadow, but by this weekend, we do dry out. We're a little bit cooler, but I'm telling you, everything from wind and rain today, a break tomorrow, more rain and wind Thursday and Friday. By this weekend, cool and 50 sounds pretty great.